Dogs do the most incredible things for us. They help the blind see. They can sense the onset of an epileptic seizure. Now they're being trained to detect COVID-19 in humans. High five. Find the key. There's a lot to love about dogs. They're loyal, obedient most of the time. Good boy, Henry. And also great companions, which in a time of social distancing and isolation is really important. And now scientists here in the UK believe they could also be our latest weapon in our fight against COVID-19. At the medical detection dogs facility northwest of London, these hounds are on the hunt. They already have the ability to sniff out malaria, Parkinson's disease, even cancer in humans. What these hunting dogs are now being taught is to detect coronavirus too. Yeah, still shut down, but we Professor James Logan from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine is one of the researchers leading the first phase of the trial. These dogs have an incredibly good sense of smell. Uh, I mean, it's ridiculously good in comparison to ours and even some of the machines that we have in our labs. The detection dogs will learn how to identify the distinctive odour that comes with the virus before a person develops symptoms. The study will involve Cocker Spaniels, Labradors and Labradoodles, all with one characteristic in common, doggedness. So the sort of dog that we we're looking for, are the, those which are actually quite difficult to to keep as pets in some ways because they're so determined. Professor so Steve Lindsay from so Durham so University. So if you throw a ball 500 times, then the dog keeps on wanting to, you to throw the ball for another 500 times because we need that sort of com commitment and determination, singularity, if you like. Samples will be taken from almost a thousand health workers in the United Kingdom. 300 will have COVID-19, 600 won't. None will have symptoms. Odour samples will be collected from their face masks and nylon socks. The dogs will then be taught to sift through background smells like cologne, perfumes and cosmetics to pinpoint the distinctive virus scent. So then we can use that to A, look at the chemicals in body odour that have changed when the infection is there, but also use these samples themselves to train the dogs. They can detect tiny traces of disease odour, the equivalent of a teaspoon of sugar in two Olympic-sized swimming pools. With the vaccine 12 to 18 months away, their main purpose will be to prevent a second wave of infections once countries reopen for business and travel. If they can detect COVID-19, they could be screening people coming into airports and coming in and out of countries, not just here in the UK, but in other countries around the world as well. The Australian Border Force has confirmed it's working with the UK Home Office and those carrying out the trial. If it's a success, COVID-19 detected dogs could be used at our borders too. In Australia, of course, you know, you do that superbly well and you're, you have a very good health system and, and systems are picking up people bringing in fruit and vegetables. Results are expected by September to determine whether dogs can accurately identify the virus with plans to roll it out across the globe by the end of the year. And this is just the beginning. Tech giants are already working on smart watches that would be able to pick up a change in a person's scent, detect a disease like malaria or virus like COVID-19, alert the user and then track and trace it in real time. But that's far off in the future. The dogs can do this now. While the screening won't replace clinical testing, it will provide a new layer of biosecurity. I think it could help us to get back to some sort of normality uh, a little bit quicker. Thank you.